What's up, guys? This is Randy with Sid Survival. I hope you can see my whole body here, but I am probably 90% done with the uh, wool blanket jacket um, and the little skull cap. Uh, fits pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and hand stitch a layer of uh, fleet up inside here for the you know lack of the itchiness and it add extra warmth to it. Uh, got the pocket sewed on. Sleeves are extra long so I can you know keep my hands warm there or you can roll the cuffs up as such. Now I'm not wearing a shirt underneath this. It was a little bit tight to, to what I wanted it to be. Um, originally it was like 52 inches, you know, around. And I decided to go ahead and make it more like 40, 46, I, I think. And I measured myself with a fleece and a sweatshirt on. Now it fits over the fleece and the sweatshirt, but, you know, it's plenty loose. And I got the sides made here to where I can still get my hand in my pockets on both sides. I still got to put the buttons on. I got the buttonhole sewn for this. Uh, the hood is on and functional. Uh, right here, these right here, I'll come up close so you can see it. These are spring keepers. Okay, so ultimately what we're going to use those for is pretty self-explanatory. They're going to slide on. This is paracord right here, 550. So those slide on. When, once you get it all tuck tight, that'll hold. Um, now, a little bit of information. These, these spring keepers here, this box from Hancock Fabric, is like three bucks for two spring keepers. Two whole spring keepers. Um, if you go to Walmart, they're still like 250 in the sewing section. If you go in their camping section, for 58 cents in a little box in the camping section, you can get four replacement spring keepers for 58 cents. That's a huge difference. It's like two dollars. You know, I don't, I'm not a mathematician or anything, nor do I play one on TV. So I got the pocket here. Hands can go inside behind it. But then, you know, you unbutton these, you know, you can dig around and put whatever you want in there. Uh, this flap, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to sew button holes on here, two of them on each side, so I can button it to the back. And it'll be able to be used as, you know, a little compartment. You can put, when you don't need the tail, if you're not going to be sitting down, you can go on your rabbit hunt or your squirrel hunt and stuff your little dead critters up inside there. And then you don't have to worry about hanging them around or anything. And, you know, pretty much carry anything you need to carry. You know, and there'll be two buttons on each on each side. Um, I still have to do a blanket stitching. I didn't I didn't want to hem it. It kind of looks a little silly that way. And it looks a little neater if you do a real nice, neat blanket stitch all the way around the edges here. And I'll be doing it on here. See how it starts to fray? without the blanket stitch. So you do the blanket stitch all the way around that. Same with this and same with this. And uh, the ends of your cuffs. So I think it turned out alright for my first try. Um, what I didn't show you was, and I'm, I'm going to do one more video after tomorrow's Boy Scout night and I go there and I sew while everybody else is doing Boy Scout shit. Um, I'm going to buy the end of the day tomorrow. I'll be completely done. I'm also putting two pockets here with little button flaps on them. So th I'm going to have to hand stitch those on. I'm going to make those today so I can, when I go to Boy Scouts, I can hand stitch the pockets on. I was thinking about doing them on the arms. I don't think I'm going to do, do them on the arms. But the seams came out really good for the most part. Um, I mean, it's not a designer jacket or anything. But yeah, it's a. Uh, 
I'm happy with it. You know, I can I can sit, and this this flap here is still under my arse, so I I don't have to you know worry about sitting on the moist ground, and this will dry out really really good and still keep my butt warm. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing anything. Also today I'm going to make a couple pairs of wool socks. So I'll have those also for the final video, part four. This is part three. I'll have those for the final video. And um, I guess that's about it. My preferred thread when I'm sewing on this, I use the sewing machine by the way, is this dual duty. It's a little bit more than, you know, your normal thread you get like 300 yards on. You only get 125 yards on this, but it's a lot stronger. And this is what I keep in my, my medical sewing kit. I got a little pill bottle full of needles and stuff like that so I can make repairs, put buttons back on. By the way, the buttons, as I said yesterday, they're all going to be this um, zebra wood. And those will be the buttons that will be right here and then the ones that are back there. So I'm not going to use the Wenge, which I showed you all yesterday. And, uh, yeah, and if you're going to make one of these, if you can locate, go to Walgreens or something like that, or Walmart, these paramedic shears right here, they used to cut your clothes off. These things were wicked awesome cutting those. But, again, Either way, this is Randy with Tiff Survival. I think that was about it. Um, have a great day. Keep smiling. Remember to thank our soldiers. And um, have yourself a great day. And I hope you enjoy this project. It's kind of a little silly. But, you know, what do you do when you're bored? <laughs>